Acting on a tip off from members of the public, officers from the Anti-Counterfeit Agency and Energy Regulatory Commission have arrested two people who are in the process of refilling gas cylinders. Thomas Ondieke, an inspector at the Anti-Counterfeit Agency, said the suspects had not adhered to safety measures and were a danger to themselves and other Kenyans. They are time bomb. Because the moment they are being refilled by those who are not permitted to refill, they do not check for any safety in terms of leakages, in terms of dents. Yeah. Elsewhere, several families have been left homeless in Kamukunji area of Wasingishu County after their houses were demolished. The operation was led by area governor Jackson Mandago with the intent of reclaiming a grabbed public land. Msingi huu ambao nimesimamia umenigarimu karibu milioni moja unusu. Nyumba ile ya mwingine meangushwa pale, iko na stakabadhi na plan ambayo meithinishwa na watu wa county. Meanwhile, traders in Thika have staged demonstrations to protest their eviction from where they have been operating from. The group lamented a notice issued by Thika officer commanding police division Beatrice Kiraguri ordering them to relocate from operating near the police station. While panic has gripped parts of Baringo County as a swarm of dreaded locusts were spotted in the area. Locals say the locust was spotted in Kamorio in Tiati and Arabal in Baringo South sub-counties. They are now appealing to the government to move with speed to contain their spread. Finally, former University of Nairobi student leaders want Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha to gazette a new council to recruit afresh the institution's vice chancellor or alternatively gazette the acting vice chancellor. Whatever the minister has decided, whatever decision and directive he has given, it must be followed with zest, vigor and temerity. We the alumni will support and we will not want such a big university, such a prestigious university to be brought down by a cartel of very few people who, has, who want to serve their personal interests. They claim the appointment carried out by the former council was ridden with questions and should not be allowed to stand. Nancy Okware, Channel One News.